Hey, it's me. Alert. I'm naked right now. I mean, my nails. My nails are naked. Let the world be aware. Also, because I wear nail polish like 99% of the time, my nails are very stained. So yeah, they look gross. Sorry. I need to get to the point. Today is a create this book episode. <laughs> First things first, I have to take care of the mess that I made in the last episode. I did this page, which says, Create a limitation. Gather a box of art supplies, close your eyes, and choose three at random. Use only those to complete this page. So I did. I randomly picked my colors, huh. and then I drew this koala, and then I used my markers to color it in, and I ruined it. <laughs> Things got very dark for him, literally. So I put up a poll and I let you guys vote on whether I should redo this page or not, and over 80% of you say, Yes! I am gonna still use the same colors that I chose randomly. Those are the colors I got. Those are the colors I'm stuck with. First, I'm gonna grab some gesso on my brush. Where did that come from? And I'm gonna try to cover up some of these little chicken pox. I'm not gonna bother to cover the entire drawing because I am gonna be just gluing blank paper over top of all of this. Oh. But I do want to cover the area kind of around the instructions because that there I'm gonna there's gonna I'm uh, Okay, just wait and you'll see why I did tons of coats of gesso and white paint, but these spots They're evil. They're evil. So fine. I give up I'm gonna take two pieces of fresh paper and I'm gonna trace a little bubble around the instructions whip out my cutting mat and my cutting knife is there any other kind of knife and just cut that out so now there's a little window around the instructions i'm gonna put these in place but i'm not gluing them down yet i am gonna trace over the old drawing because i still like it i want it to stay and there we go he's back <laughs> back to his original healthy self. He still kind of looks sad though, or is he just pensive? Oh, almost forgot his forehead fluff. Now let's try coloring this again. I'm thinking I can pull this off better using watercolor. I haven't used these specific watercolors in ages. <laughs> Um, okay. Somehow this paint completely dried out. Jeez. I didn't think it was that old. Never mind. I can't use that. So I'm just going to go with these super cheap watercolors that I had laying around. Luckily, there are roughly similar colors in this palette to the marker colors that I selected. I'm still doing the yellow and the orange in the background. For some reason, I was using the really crappy paintbrush that came in the set. This sucks. It's freaking atrocious. So don't do that. I just want like splashes of color to make the koala and the branch pop out more. I'm already a lot happier with how the background is coming out. It looks a lot more better. The gray in this watercolor palette is a lot lighter than that gray marker, which is good because I think it makes the koala look a lot nicer to be in a lighter gray than that dark, oppressive gray that it had before. I am going along the edges to deepen the color of the background to make sure that that koala pops. Are you popping? I'm popping. Even though I do think the lighter gray looks better than the dark gray, I do feel a little cheaterish E because technically the dark gray is the color I chose. But hey, it's not my fault that the watercolor equivalent is lighter. And thank goodness I can do some shading on him. Ah! There was no shading with the marker version, just a lot of streaks. I'm not saying that Crayola markers are good for nothing. They just were the wrong choice for this drawing. Or was this drawing the wrong choice for them? It doesn't matter. I did have to go back over a lot of the black lines after the watercolor, you know, did its thing on them. Ew. But that's okay. So here's the new version. Before, after, eh, eh. All that's left to do is just to glue this back in the book. Say your last goodbye to sad koala. Let me finish gluing that on, and wabam. I think this looks so much better than before. It's not like I made that huge of changes, but I think it made a big difference. The difference in the grays may be cheating a little bit, but hey, the goal is to be happy with the art in the end. If you have to bend the rules to be happy, then it's okay. Don't apply that philosophy to life. You may end up in jail. All right, let's move on to a completely new page. Let me just try to find it. 
Where is it? Here. The directions say create additions. Add to these circles. So there is a strong temptation to turn these into donuts. No. I should do something different. But donuts. No. I want to do donuts. <sighs> Okay, fine. I'm gonna do donuts. So I'm drawing donuts. Are we surprised? No, we're not surprised. Unless you're new here. Raise your hand if you're new. Now before I go any further with these donuts, I'm gonna stop and let my other self talk to you for a second. Boo! Did I scare you? So I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that for the first time, I am going to be selling signed copies of Create This Book 2. Signed. By, by me. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of requests over the years to offer signed copies from all kinds of different people messaging me, but I've never offered that before, so now I am? Here's the deal. There is a limited amount of these books. I did 500. Um, I hope somebody buys these. What would I do with 500 books? I'm a little bit worried that nobody's gonna buy these. Once the 500 are gone, they're gone. I don't know if I will ever do this again. If you want one, don't wait. Every single one, all 500 were hand signed by me. My whole family helped me to line these out and I signed them one by one, every last one. This is the last book. Create this arthritis. <laughs> My back was killing me afterward, but it was fun. So each one of them is signed in the inside cover with my initials, a little heart, and then two fancy little underlines just to, you know, I don't know. With a signed copy of the book, you also get two decals and these are exclusive right now you can't find these anywhere else it'll be two random designs of the seven that are available the price takes into account a lot of different things first of all they are signed and also we are shipping these ourselves for the first time me and my family is helping me with this so we had to buy 500 of the books <laughs> Yeah, 500. We had to get the stickers made and buy the stickers, buy the thank you notes, buy all the packaging supplies. We had to buy a scale, an online store, a label printer. So it, there's a lot of expenses. This is only available in the United States this time. It is a lot more complicated to ship outside the United States. So for our first time, we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay here. Sorry about that, my far away friends. I know there's a lot of you and I'm sorry. The link to the shop will be in the description. Check it out if you're interested. That's all I wanted to say to you. I just wanted to take the time to explain everything face to face. Back to you, voiceover me. Thanks for that. Now back to donuts. I don't want to do just any old basic donuts, so I'm going to do some interesting toppings over here. So for the huge donut, I decided to top it with gummy bears, and in this one over here, I am topping it with Fruit Loops. The other two, well, yeah, they're basic. So it's coloring time. I put my pencils in rainbow order just for your aesthetic experience. I'm starting with the most time-consuming part of this drawing, which is all those freaking gummy bears. I wanted them to be really smooth and glossy looking, you know, like gummy bears tend to be, which means a lot of blending and layering. So each one was a process, took quite a while. So many little details and do -do 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 -do. over and over. So, so many. Also, they should kind of look all the same, but yeah, they don't. They're kind of all over the place. I don't even think some of these live on the same planet. Once I'd added all the gummy bears I could bear to do, then I added some little circle and star sprinkles to kind of fill up some of the weird gaps. For the icing color, I went with blue, which is fine. Okay, that's fine. But the way I did the shading, it made it look like the gummy bears were floating in water. But this was not supposed to be the lazy river of gummy bears. It's supposed to be a donut. But um, I, I think this is the lazy river of gummy bears. Also, it doesn't help that this donut isn't exactly uh, circular. Please tell me how I didn't notice that. Anyway, moving on to the next donut. This one is just a nice, normal, chocolate glazed donut. It's not boring because it does have sprinkles and we have a song for that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm using this colorless blending pencil, which I just found out was a thing recently. Basically, it just helps to smooth out the pencil if you want like a more solid color without having to like press super hard on your pencils and make the color super dark. It, and it's and it's nice. Oh, but speaking of the sprinkle song, the sprinkle song, even though we already kind of moved on from that, we're back. This is a serious topic and I need to address it. People keep calling the fingers down my spine song. Fingers down my spine. The sprinkle song. Let me just clarify. No, no, no. No, that's that's just a song that I happen to use for no reason at all. So I just wanted to point out the difference between those two. Take it seriously, you know, it's serious. It's not a joke. This is the Fruit Loops donut, which was actually pretty fun to draw. A little tedious, but nothing compared to what the gummy bears put me through. I've seen these Fruit Loop donuts in real life. They look really pretty, but I don't I don't even know. Would that actually taste good? You know, I like donuts and I like Fruit Loops but do they really go together? I don't know. I love how I did the white frosting for that one. It kind of looks like milk, so, you know, it's appropriate. And for this last donut, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't try that hard to come up with the design. You know, it's it's in the background, so I kind of just wanted it to be there, but it's still cute. Finally, I'm gonna add some little finishing touches here and there, and there we go. Three donuts and a lazy river. Love it. I do actually really like this page, and despite all my complaining, I did have fun making this. Some mistakes were made on this page. It doesn't have to be perfect to bring me joy. Okay, moving on to the third page for this episode. I'm gonna flip to this page. It says, create a split decision. Write or draw the first thing that comes to mind. So let me think for a split second. Okay. Acorn. Yep, we're going with that. So I drew a bunch of acorns. Yes, this is what goes on in my mind. Just acorn. I don't think I've ever drawn an acorn before, so it may seem pretty random, but it's actually not that random. I have a thing about acorns, <coughs> not in a weird way. When I see something acorn related, I usually just really like it, which isn't that often because they're not that popular. So I like acorns. 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 Acorns, 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 acorns. <laughs> Somebody slap me. I drew a bunch of acorns on one page and then some plants and a big fat acorn on the other page. I'm gonna slide some paper towels under the page because I'm doing watercolor and here I go. I didn't really think about how I was gonna paint these. I kind of just did it. Not that that's really the point of this page. It's about a split decision so you should go with your first instinct but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to like rush through the art and not think about anything else. And I actually really liked how these were looking in these, you know, like natural colors, but the devious side of me. I kind of wanted to try to add some different colors to these. I mean, I was aware that this could potentially ruin them, but you don't know unless you try. So I just went for it. I didn't add too much color, but just a little to each one to make them a little more special. I don't think that they needed it, but I like it. The big acorn, on the other hand, hmm. I really don't like how this one looks as much. Much. I feel like it's just not as cute as the little ones and I didn't know which color to add to this one So I added all of them which was kind of whack You know, it's easy to make choices once you can see what you've done It's easy to sit back and say oh well you shouldn't have done that hindsight is 2020 foresight is like blind either way It's all personal preference. There's no right or wrong way to color a picture Despite what some people tell you you do what you want. I think for a split decision idea it's not bad it's it's pretty cute actually i love acorns and i'm not afraid to admit it it's only a matter of time before i'll be doing a video painting on acorns or some nonsense like that but anyway that's it for this episode i hope you like the pages that i did today please enjoy these photos that have been sent to me from other people's create this books thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next friday bye